Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. And um, it's the beginning of the new year, so I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. And I'm hopefully gonna try and do three or four videos today. But um, one of the things I wanted to talk about was um, <clears throat> the subject of palpitations and heart attacks, okay? Um, I've had a ton of people that have spoken to me about their palpitations and the overwhelming anxiety during the palpitations is, am I going to have a heart attack? Am I having a heart attack? And um, this is a big misconception amongst people because they think, oh, well, pal palpitations signify uh, a heart attack. Uh, the truth is uh, they are two separate things and very rarely does do palpitations actually cause heart attacks? Uh, they may be associated, but certainly palpitations do not, to all intents and purposes, cause heart attacks. Now, um, there is a small caveat, and I'll talk to you about that in a second. But in essence, palpitations are brought about because there's an electrical problem of the heart. And even that is only in a minority of people with palpitations. Remember, palpitations can happen because the heart is doing something completely normal, you know, but the brain is telling it to do something. So, for example, if you're walking alone in the middle of the night, someone jumps out at you, you will get palpitations, but that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with the heart. Now, in a minority of people, the palpitations can be because of a heart rhythm disturbance. That is a problem with the electrics of the heart, okay? The electrics don't really have anything to do with heart attacks. Heart attacks are caused by a problem with the plumbing of the heart, i.e. the heart muscle needs blood. And if the pipes that take the blood to the heart muscle are blocked, then that causes damage to the heart muscle. And that's a heart attack. That has very little to do with the electrics of the heart. Okay. Now, you could say that if... For example, you are an elderly person who has diabetes, who has high blood pressure, who smokes, you know, 50 cigarettes a day. Sure, in that person, you could have wear and tear and eventually you could have a heart attack. And when you have that heart attack, the heart muscle doesn't get the blood it needs and that can cause the electrics to malfire and therefore you could get some palpitations. But generally in those people, there's a few things that tell you that the palpitations are being caused by a heart attack. One, they're generally in that kind of age group uh, where heart attacks are more common. So they're older, so 60s, over 60. Um, they're diabetic or they have high blood pressure or they have been heavy smokers. And that would, and one of the most crucial things is that they usually complain of chest discomfort, okay? They usually complain of an extreme discomfort in the chest. Uh, they feel nauseous, they feel unwell, the discomfort doesn't go away. And then uh, they may say, oh, well, and I started feeling my heart beating fast. Yes, in those people, sure, the palpitations could be caused by a heart attack. But in the majority of cases, for example, if you're lying there in the middle of the night, you start feeling your heart suddenly going fast, it's beating very fast, please don't worry, your heart, you're not going to have a heart attack, your heart will cope, your pipes are probably okay, because you're young, you're generally otherwise okay, so the pipes are going to allow the blood through. So it's very um, similar to saying, well, you know, for a little while, someone is driving my car much faster than the manufacturer's recommended limit. The heart will cope, the fuel will get through, that in itself shouldn't cause a heart attack or anything like that. Now, if you have a worn out engine, if you are an, you're driving an old car, um, which is worn out, which is, you know, 50, 30, 40 years old, uh, sure, in that setting, yes, that person could have a heart attack. So it very much depends on the substrate of the patient. Who is the patient? Is the patient someone who's old, who's got lots of risk factors, who's had heart attacks? And are they complaining of severe chest discomfort? And when I talk about discomfort, I mean, it is really like someone sitting on your chest. A lot of people describe it as an elephant sitting on your chest. That's a heart attack. In a minority of those people, you can get palpitations associated with it. But palpitations in general will not cause heart attacks. I, if you're lying there, your heart starts beating fast. Uh, your heart will cope. You're not going to have a heart attack. So the best thing to do in that setting is if you are... Uh, stuck in the middle of the night, you start getting your heart, you start noticing your heart beats very fast, 
keep calm, nothing bad's going to happen to you, take deep breaths in and out, and hopefully they will settle. If they don't settle, you can always ask for help, uh, and someone can come and do an ECG and just make sure that your palpitations don't need to be treated. You don't need the ECG because people are worried that you're having a heart attack. That's not going to happen. You're having the ECG just so that your palpitations can be defined and it can be worked out whether you have a heart rhythm disturbance or not. And if you do, then that can be treated. So I hope that clears this big misconception about, you know, can palpitations cause heart attacks? Uh, no. Okay. Um, heart attacks can cause palpitations, but no. Now, some people will write to me and say, oh, I had an SVT and I went to the hospital and they said I had a heart attack. Well, these days, what happens is that the definition of a heart attack is based on a blood test um, uh, called the troponin, which is elevated. Now, <clears throat> sure, or if you have very, very fast palpitations, then that can cause a little bit of seepage of this blood test. And therefore, someone may say, oh, your blood test is raised. That suggests you have a heart attack. you've had a heart attack. But that's not the kind of heart attack that people worry about. That's a very minor troponin leak, which unfortunately people don't have a name for at the moment. So they call it a type 2 heart attack. I wouldn't worry about that at all. The heart attacks we worry about are the heart attacks which are caused by wear and tear and blockage of heart arteries. That is not caused by palpitations, okay? So I hope this was reassuring. Um, I, I'd be really grateful if you could consider um, sharing these videos if you're, um, if you're finding them useful. Uh, my goal for the coming year is to try and get, um, to try and do some more videos and get some more, uh, get my message, um, you know, uh, out there. So um, uh, I wish you all the best for a new year. Uh, and if you need to get in touch with me, you can do so through Facebook. And you can do so through Twitter. And finally, you can get me on my website. And that's my preferred option because um, that sends me a message to my mobile phone and I know you're in touch. And then I, I will reply back. So thank you very much and all the best.